Canada's own crack anti-terrorism fighters are trying out a new role today, conciliators. Joint Task Force 2, after a decade of training at a base on Dwyer Hill Road, is now trying to be a better neighbor. And the military signed on to the new regime at City Hall today. On DND training videos, it all looks very dramatic. Super secret JTF2 Special Forces commandos, training hard to keep Canada safe. But what if they were doing it next door to you? When you, you, you have the training base, you're going to have fire, firearms, you're going to have explosives, you're going to have helicopters. And then, of course, we had the news that the base was going to expand into our backyards. Thus, the history of tension between JTF2 and the people who live near its Dwyer Hill training base. It had been percolating for about 11 years, ever since the government took over the land from the RCMP. But just now, the Department of National Defense is doing something unprecedented, dropping the veil of secrecy around the base and signing a peace treaty with its neighbors. We've reached a memorandum of understanding between the Heron Lake uh, Community Association and the Department of National Defense uh, to coexist as neighbors. That memorandum calls for regular meetings between residents and the base commander. Limits on flights in and out of the base as well as on firearms and pyrotechnics training. More environmental assessments of the base's impact on the area. And consultation on the base's future expansion. We've uh, decided in the hours. We've decided that, you know, they're going to call us and give us proper notice so we can be prepared. And it is really groundbreaking, it's exciting, and it's something that, as I say, is a celebration of over two years of dialogue. The Heron Lake homeowners, over 30 of them, are unanimous in approving the memorandum. But not everyone's convinced. There is Ron Mayhew, whose farm adjoins the base and who's locked in a long-term dispute with the military over what he says is a history of property damage, harassment and threats of expropriation. That case is now in the hands of lawyers. And JTF2's other neighbors are counting themselves lucky that they're going the other route. We talked to them, we went to them, we said we need to sit down, we need to talk. Uh, they were receptive from the get-go and the result is two years later we have this agreement. JTF2 is believed to have about 300 members and its size is expected to double over the next few years. The military is also looking at expanding the base after deciding against a move to Petawawa last year. Well, tonight, dramatic pictures as a pipeline blows up in a...